Hang on. There's your. There, it's all melted. For your other stuff. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, I got me some breakfast. Told Miss Linda I was gonna run up and get me one of those sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins, and then she's like, well, I can scramble you some eggs. So yeah, I didn't argue with that. Um, that basket that you've seen, it's called a, what'd she call it, a boo basket? And she put that thing together for my grandson. So I've got to deliver that this afternoon. I'll probably uh, take it down on the bike. It's supposed to be pretty warm today. I think they're saying the winds are supposed to, I don't know, be a little gusty maybe to this afternoon or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're going to ride. But I got a new LED shop light. As you can see, it's an eight foot. Uh, I do have it on a pulley system. It's not completely done yet because I've got another pulley to put over here and I'm going to get one of those boat ties thingies, you know, so I can actually raise it up and down. And the cord that you see is going to be zip tied. And that way it's out of the way. So I can actually unplug it, plug it in whenever I need to use it because it really brightens this corner up over here when you have the bike up on the table. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's still a mess as you can see. <laughs> so, uh, it's actually on the phone with, the uh, uh, stiff rides down to Texas. And, uh, I think he's got a video coming out this afternoon. So check him out. Uh, I might put his uh, channel down in the description, so you can click on it. And uh, good guy. Uh, nothing else going on, pretty much. I I really could have taken a road trip yesterday. Uh, probably oh three hundred three hundred miles uh, up to uh, Iowa for a uh, celebration. Uh, birthday celebration for a uh the father of a guy another kid that I grew up with um but I'll tell you what I got home yesterday and I was tired well not yesterday <laughs> Friday night I was beat um it's it's weird because you know energy and it comes in spurts you know S some weeks I can work six days a week but then you know, something happens, a couple detours in the middle of the week, and I'm just beat, you know, by Saturday morning. And, uh, yeah, I've got company coming, or we've got company coming this coming weekend. So it's going to be a full weekend. Um, um, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So I've got to clean this whole shop area up and get ready for that. Uh, I've got to look at the weather forecast because there's supposed to be, uh, uh, we're gonna have company on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we might do it out here in the shop and uh, on Saturday, just depends on how bad the rain is. If not, we can run up to uh, my daughter's and have it there. So, but Sunday, uh, next Sunday should be nice, and we're going to have a good time, so, yeah. But I'm going to tackle this project first today and finish it up. Um, I've got to wait till this afternoon to take that road trip down south, deliver that, and uh, the uh, Wind Rider seat cover that I put on the seat were, has worked worked out really good. The only thing is, is when the temperature uh, is getting colder, I can feel the cold air uh, going down the road underneath my rear end of me. Not the bike, but me. 
So I might be pulling that off and I've actually got to do like a, uh, a review on that seat cover. It's worked out really good. So um, I'm gonna pull the seat cover off and see what the actual seat still looks like. Um, yeah. So what are your plans uh, this coming week? You know, um, up here in Missouri and Iowa, uh, I know out west, out in Cheyenne, it was 30, well, 29 degrees, it's getting colder. Uh, do you guys and gals, you know, in the northern areas, you know, Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, uh, do you guys winterize your bikes and put them up for the winter? I don't winterize my bike because I've, I've ridden in pretty darn chilly temperatures and I ride, try to ride 12 months out of the year, no matter what. Um, if there's snow on the ground, uh, extreme cold, chances of snow, freezing rain, whatever, I, I don't even get it out. I drive, I drive the little red car to work. So, yeah. I did get the three hole oil change done with the AMS oil. I did a live while I was doing that and had a really good time for the, with that. So, yeah, anyway, uh, nothing much else going on. Um, I could get the mower out and mow one more time, but the leaves are still hanging onto the trees pretty well. And uh, so I'm trying to wait uh, for that to transpire. And since it's getting colder, I do have I do have some some trees to cut down, some fences to pull out, and just uh, clean up, do some more cleanup work. Um, so yeah, a buddy of mine said that was pretty dangerous up there on that ladder. <laughs> yeah, he said, uh, yeah, that's probably I don't know. It's a twenty foot ladder. I do have a pulley up there at the top with the rope and uh, uh, he was talking about our friend that's got this ladder here and he said he's got even got one taller than that and there's no way he could uh, climb that ladder and get up, get up that high and I says, well, you know, you'll bounce, you know, when you hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get some stuff cleaned up and clean myself up a little bit. Um Yeah. Might even give the bike a bath today uh before I head down south with that uh with that basket. So, do that this afternoon ever after the temperatures warm up so oh and kansas city plays this afternoon so that'll be a, that'll be a good game i'll probably have it on here in the shop while i'm messing around so another thing i was thinking about doing is uh harbor freight has these tarps um and i'm thinking about hanging a tarp and in between the two sections here of the shop because uh, about 14 feet of the east side of the shop is dirt because I had horses, I had three stalls set up and I didn't have that section concreted because I didn't want them standing on concrete and I would have to have pads, rubber pads in their stalls and so I just didn't do it. And that was back before the big, uh, the C. And I don't know what it would cost now, uh, 30 by 14. Uh, I don't even know what concrete goes for. I'm gonna have a crew come in and, and do that. So yeah, it's, I'll show you here. This whole section right here is all dirt. Actually, 
chat with dust on top of it uh, or dirt, whatever, because this, this shop is not the original shop because the original one actually, uh, there was an electrical short and caught fire and burned down. So, which insurance did cover? And if I were to have another one of these built, it'd probably be triple the amount of cost to have one built, a 30 by 50. Uh, oh, I did get the garage door fixed too. It goes up and down. Uh, the gentleman was very nice. Um, had to replace the cables and rewind the springs. And there was one thing I forgot to look at yesterday down at Lowe's was a automatic garage door opener. And I want to get one of those uh, side shaft garage door openers. He said, uh, I told him, I said, I didn't know how heavy that door is. He said, it doesn't matter. He said, the springs will help do the work of bringing, bringing it up and down. So, yeah. Hmm. Almost sounds like someone's in the driveway. Well, y'all have a good day and uh, stay out of trouble. And who knows, might go live later on uh, this afternoon. So keep an eye out that for that. If you're new here, thank you. Uh, my name is Ken with Lone Cowboy Adventures. Say hi to a stranger. Thank a veteran. Wave at a police officer, freight hauler. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. Say bye.